Manya accused of conflict of interest when he headed Labour Department, and KZN ANC Youth League's provincial executive disbanded. From a news desk, Gamlebo Changela. The public protector Tulima Donsela says black management foreign president Jimmy Manyi did have a conflict of interest when he headed the Labour Department. She was speaking at the National Press Club in Pretoria. Manyi says the same did not apply to Manyi's position now as head of government communications. However, Madonsela says Manyi's new position needs to be carefully managed because there is a perceived conflict of interest. Madonsela's inquiry into Manyi arose from a complaint by Paul Hoffman, a director of the Institute for Accountability. She elaborates. My conclusion on the first one was that there was indeed a conflict of interest. But I didn't conclude that he did anything wrong, like he gave a tender to BMF or anything strange. It was just that the positions were not reconcilable and and the concept of interest had not been managed properly by himself and his minister. On the second issue of GCIS, my finding is that there isn't a real conflict of interest but there is a perceived one and, and potentially there could be a conflict of interest. The ANC Youth League in KwaZulu Natal has confirmed that it has received a letter from the national leadership indicating that the provincial executive has been disbanded. Provincial Chairperson Tandeni Tlungwani says the league secretary general Cindy Somagaka issued the letter last night. Details from ACBC reporter Azane Lebuteles. Youth leaders in KwaZulu Natal have been aware of the decision to disband the provincial executive for about a week now. They say the decision was taken because they did not support the league's president, Julius Malema, during his disciplinary hearing. They also claim that they're being targeted for backing President Jacob Zuma for a second term as leader of the ANC. A consultative meeting with branches has been called by the Youth League in the province this afternoon at the Durban City Hall. The aim of the meeting is to inform the League's branches about the latest developments following their meeting with NEC officials and the decisions that have been taken. Zanele Butelezi, SABC News, Durban. Statistics of Africa says the age profile of the working population shows that the labour market is struggling to absorb young people. It says one in four working people is between the ages of 25 and 34. Stats SA says South Africa has not yet fully recovered from the 2009 economic downturn. It says about 395,000 jobs were lost in 2010 compared to the previous year. Around 13.1 million people were employed in 2010 compared to 13.5 million in 2009. Jobs in the formal sector shrunk by 3.5% in 2010 compared to the previous year. Stats SA says employment in the informal sector grew by 1.4%. And a great white shark has severed the legs of a 44-year-old bather at a coverly near Fishhook in the Cape Peninsula. National Sea Rescue Institute spokesperson Craig Lebanon says the man's right leg has been amputated below the knee. He says the man will be airlifted to hospital soon. Lebanon says the victim ignored several warnings to avoid entering the sea. A rescue helicopter is on standby to airlift him to hospital once he's been stabilised. At this stage, we are urging people to stay out of the water along the False Bay coastline. At the time of the incident, Fisher Beach itself was closed by the city of Cape Town uh, after a shark sighting earlier today. Um, but it appears that this incident took place at Clear Valley Corner, which is quite some distance away from Fisher itself.